Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. This is Mr. Go. Uh, today we're going to take a look at organic structures and how to draw them using uh, a shortcut method um, with uh, basically just straight lines and corners. Uh, and it's a whole lot easier to sort of um, uh, draw larger structures, especially cyclic structures or uh, even ones with uh, several, func uh, several types of functional groups. So. Uh, the uh, molecule that we have drawn in black, that should be pentane. And notice that on the ends, I've kind of labeled them, these are end carbons, and they happen to be the ends of the chain. And these are internal carbons, meaning that they are on the inside part of the chain. So they're actually CH2s, and the end carbons are actually identified to be CH3s. Okay. Um, so how do we draw this in shorthand? Well, this would be the structure. One, two, three, four, five. So this actually is a shorthand for pentane. And note that I'll mark it in red. These two carbons on end are the end carbons. These three right here in blue are the internal carbons, and those are the CH2s. Um, it kind of uh, has a similar sort of uh, representation to tetrahedral structures when we started to draw this using the wedge and dash method back all the way back in the first semester. but Note that at each one of these uh, corners right here, there is a carbon. So there's a carbon here, right there. And then there just happens to be a CH3 on this end and a CH3 on this end. And then right here, this is a CH2. Okay, And the, card, uh, the hydrogens are actually pointing up in this direction right here and pointing up in this direction right here. So again, let me just go ahead and clear this out again just to show you guys. To draw the shorthand method for pentane, it looks like this. What you do is you draw one, two, three, four, five dots, and then you connect the dots, much like you're playing a game on a sunny newspaper. So this is pentane. All right, uh, pay attention to uh, some of the upcoming videos for organic chemistry, and uh, we'll take a look at some cyclic structures and, and other functional groups uh, attached to carbon chains and uh, other cyclic structures. Have a good day. We'll see you then.